The Israel Defense Forces have underscored their determination to destroy Hamas in its entirety, following the militant group's deadly incursion into Israel on October 7. They also renewed calls for Palestinian civilians to evacuate the northern part of Gaza before strikes by Israel intensify. The IDF's spokesperson, Lieutenant Colonel Peter Lerner, was interviewed on ABC. We are seeing that people are actually evacuating. Indeed, we would like to see the humanitarian organizations uh, assisting in the evacuation of people for, for the welfare of people and not side with Hamas telling them not to evacuate. With more than one million Palestinian civilians potentially trying to move out of harm's way, the United States is working with its partners to ensure the humanitarian needs of the displaced are being met, said White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan on ABC's This Week. We are in touch with our Israeli counterparts. We're in touch with the United Nations to help secure the necessary supplies of food, water and medicine uh, to the citizens of Gaza, those Palestinians who have nothing to do with the barbaric terrorists who carried out this attack. The exchange of fire continued over the weekend at the Israeli border with Lebanon, where the Iran-backed militia Hezbollah operates. Republican Lindsey Graham, who plans to visit the region in the coming days with a bipartisan group of U.S. senators, issued a strong warning against Tehran and its allies, intending to play a more active role in the conflict. If Hezbollah, which is a proxy of Iran, launches a massive attack on Israel, I will consider that a threat to the, um, to, to the state of Israel, existential in nature. I will introduce a resolution in the United States Senate to allow military action by the United States in conjunction with Israel to knock Iran out of the oil business. Iran, if you escalate this war, we're coming for you. Meanwhile, as part of a regional tour aimed at diffusing tensions, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken met Sunday with Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. They both agreed on the importance of ensuring assistance to the Palestinian civilians fleeing the war, according to spokesperson Matthew Miller. Blinken is expected to travel again to Israel on Monday for further consultations. Veronica Valderas Iglesias, VOA News, Washington.